Hey everybody. Hey, welcome back to this series where we are going to build a business together. I have a coaching business that I am putting together and um, I know that for a lot of you, you are wanting to start a business or you have a business and so let's move forward. So as I said before, it's like we're going to go into our first step in making a business and it's like one of them is a chair. So not just any chair, it's like we are going to learn about meditation. I know that's spiritual foo-foo and it's like uh, there are people already hitting the button, I'm out of here. But if Tony Robbins, and if you don't know who Tony Robbins is, please, God, look him up because he is probably the world's most profound uh, coach out there for uh, people's business, life, you know, any anything um, about you and your success, he covers. Uh, so, if Tony Robbins is about meditation by God, I am going to be about meditation as well. Because one of the things I did not do in my other businesses was stop and really just go, what am I here for? What is my purpose? What is my passion? And trying to connect that to uh, who I want to be as a business owner. So, why meditate, right? So first, it calms your mind. I talk about it in some of my videos where you have the we have this uh, complex neocortex and part of that complex neocortex is that we have these chattering monkeys that talk, 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 right and then it's, then we have this elephant inside of us this elephant keeps us safe he is scared of mice and scared of everything and between these two operating systems uh, what usually comes forth is not as good as it can be so when we meditate we quiet the monkey we quiet the elephant and we're able to just hear our inner self and it's like our inner self knows what we want knows what we need to move forward with okay so uh when we calm ourselves and we get that opportunity to connect with ourselves we also connect with um what we're meant to create when you have people who do something and it's very unique i can almost promise you that it was an inner inspiration that came from some form of meditation where they really had time to go okay what am I doing how can I make it different and how can it be special if you just charge forward and go hey it's like I was a photographer if I charge forward being a photographer I'm just going to photograph stuff but I'm not gonna do anything unique and um, if I am doing something unique I'm not gonna be aware of what it is because with meditation also brings awareness and so that's important also, in that awareness is purpose. Why am I here? What am I doing this for? Am I just doing this as a hobby and I'm just trying to make it harder for myself? Um, or just trying to burn out my hobby? Because in my first business was an aquarium cleaning business. You can look around my house, there are no fish tanks in my house. Because I am not doing that shit anymore. <laughs> um, because uh, once you start doing something that you're passionate about and uh, you put yourself in a position where it's like you're not passionate about it anymore. So have that in mind. So meditation will help you understand if you're doing this maybe just for the money and uh, that's your only real drive, it's going to be really hard to have that business if it's not something that you just are willing to do because you love it and you want to share it with the world and share it with your tribe so it's very important and the last one on meditation is really problem solving you're gonna have problems in your business uh, that's where a, a coach comes in handy is reaching out to them and them you guys walking through because I when I do my coaching calls I connect pretty much right away with whatever your problem is and it's like can help you through it but a lot of times we want to go, no, 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 I want to do it myself, I can do it myself, whatever the case is, and it just hoses you up. So please be open to the idea of coaching because it's going to save you a lot of time and money and um, not just making money but also spending money in the wrong places because um, I want you to stay in the entrepreneurial driven world instead of having to go back to a day job. Okay, so how do we do this? So. Let's start with, first we want to do is, when it comes to meditation, fundamentally it doesn't matter where or how you do it. You want to have where it's a comfortable spot, preferably uh, quiet and it's like non-distracting. You want to have your phone and anything that's going to beep, buzz, or distract you, get it out of the way. 
Um, you want to be in a comfortable position where you are not going to have her like, oh, my back is starting to hurt, and it's like got to move and fidget and all that kind of stuff. You want to be able to get into a completely relaxed um, situation. Um, one of the things that I like to do is I have my candle here. Uh, I set it out in front of me, and I uh, light it, and I turn off the lights, and I focus. And I'll do that for you guys uh, in Maybe in the next video, I'll actually walk you through a meditation to help you connect with your purpose and your clients and see what, uh, see what kind of resonates for you for what comes up. Uh, plan to just do this. Ideally, you'll get to about 15 or 20 minutes per day that you do it. And it's like the best time is actually when you first, within the first 30 minutes of waking up, a lot of times that's hard for me. So uh, I have to get kids to school because I'm a dad. And sometimes I have to do it after my kids go to school. Still is working just fine. It's like uh, you'll get your guidance. But I do, and I have been doing it a little bit earlier in the morning, and I get into a flow state a lot easier. Uh, and then what's it feel like? What's it feel like to be in a flow state? State. Um, I like the term where it's like uh, you get so relaxed that you don't know your nose from your toes. You, for me, it's like it's a little bit euphoric, like I'm outside my body. I had one time where, one of the first times that I actually meditated, I was part of a class that did a uh, mindfulness meditation. During the class, it's like I just felt like I escaped my body completely, and it's like went off into the cosmos and like flew around planets and all that kind of stuff. That was the most insane, uh, like, uh, connecting meditation I've ever had. If that doesn't happen for you, it's not you. It's it's not common. If you have, it's like share it in the comments. It's like I'd love to hear about your experiences while meditating. But fundamentally, just relaxing, because then it's like relaxing and just kind of detaching from your body, lets you be connected with your inner self, and your inner self is going to be such a guide in what you're doing. And if it, if you're uh, if you have a religious preference, like if it's praying, praying and connecting to a higher source, so that that way you. Uh, and connect with what your purpose is so what you do is like as you settle in to meditate we're gonna have where it's like first set your intention don't go crazy asking you know for everything in the world and how to do your business uh, just set it with hey what do I need to do next and so you get into your um, get into your state and you go um, what as we're if we're if we're starting starting your business right first thing we're gonna do is who is my client we're gonna meditate on who is your client and then as you're doing that it's like you start kind of bringing that meditation into what do they need right now it's like what because it's easy to go okay hey there's all these things I could do what do I need to help them with right now what is their struggle right now and if you're putting yourself in their shoes that is really the first step to making all the rest of your business be super smooth um, what are you excited to share with them when you do your meditation and you start thinking about what do they need right now there's probably a few things that they need but there's going to be something inside of you that probably resonates in a way where it's like oh god it would be so much fun to share that with them and uh, if you feel that, that is an impulse. And you, when you get done, you're going to write these things down in a journal. And you're going to focus on, it's like, okay, how can I do those things for them that may help them giggle? Or that make you giggle and that you're so happy to help them with. Um, and then the last one is, is, as you're thinking about this, if money starts to come into your brain of going, oh, it's like, oh, I need to make whatever amount of money. You need to make joy. Make joy first. Huge, huge factor in where I could have succeeded more in my other businesses that I had. I have some money blocks that really stopped me. And because I would have where I had such a goal for myself and I would want to make so much money, but then when I didn't make uh, the money, I would feel sad and I'd get kind of broken about it. And the hard part is if I would have just focused on what is the joy of being a photographer and sharing that service with other people, oh my goodness, my photography business probably could have 
done four or five times better easy just in focusing on the joy and what I'm providing um, to my clients instead of worrying about the money because like just as a trap okay I think that's it for now if you have any questions or anything specific that we need to talk about more leave it in the comments and it's like I can add a video in that, that uh, shares that but for right now it's funny to say find your chair find your mat find uh, whatever is comfortable for you even if it's laying on the bed Get some meditation music. The nice part is, is like you can use Alexa. Is she gonna go off? No. Okay. Uh, and you can ask her for meditation music, and it's like that'll be that. Uh, get yourself a focus point. If you don't have a candle, you're not comfortable with a candle. Sometimes uh, your air conditioner or something with a steady sound can be really nice. Even a sound machine and just focusing on that. That way you're kind of uh, blocking out a lot of uh, uh, a lot of distractions. So that way it's like you can just get in there. Um, you're not trying, an uh, important thing is you're not trying to control your thoughts and you're not trying to have a blank brain here. It's like you're going to have thoughts. A big key factor is you're, you're going to have a thought that comes in, but then when it comes in, you're like, oh, that's cool. And then you try to let it wash away. Like if you were in a park and a bird flew by, you wouldn't try to catch the bird unless that's what you were out to do. And, but you're, if you're enjoying the day, a bird flies by, you see the bird, you acknowledge the bird, and you watch the bird go away. You're not trying to control the bird, right? So all of your thoughts, and if you get a thought that comes in and you are kind of connecting with it, you're like, oh man, I need to get groceries today, and you start making a list, you're like, okay, I need to stop thinking about that. And so a uh, good technique is saying, thank you. What? I wonder what I'll think of next. And when you say, I wonder what, you'll, what I'll think of next, it'll just kind of float by, and you probably will have something else that comes in, but then you just want to have where you're like, oh, oh yeah, I guess I do need to fix the fence. Okay, and you let it go, and then they start coming a little bit slower, and you get into that flow state, and the next thing you know, it's like you have where thoughts that are more towards your business and more towards what you need start to settle in, and that's uh, that's where you want to be, and uh, and then when you come out of it, it you just kind of know, and what's funny is I set a timer, and it, and this is uh, something to know too, if you meditate for fifteen minutes. 14 minutes of it is probably going to be all that trying to get everything to go away and then that last minute is like oh man there it is it feels so good and it's like that information is is coming to you and that called a download is coming to you and then your alarm goes off and you're like oh, man. i kind of would have liked five more minutes of that because it's a very calm very blissful state so all right my friends uh the next um the next video is probably going to be a meditation uh, so we can walk through and do this together just so you really kind of see what it's like. So uh, have a great one and we will catch you there.